Oh, I can think of nothing more alpha than being comfortable in your own body, especially if you're going against what the broader societal expectation for you to be is. There is nothing more alpha than being a trans woman and having to deal with untold amounts of bigotry, of hatred, of societal pushback at every level and still be confident about yourself, still be brave, still take the fucking world by the horns and do the damn thing you need to do to help yourself and the people that you're responsible for. There is nothing more alpha than that. So it's recently come to my attention that there is a very interesting video on a topic that I actually have a lot of experience thinking and talking about. You might be familiar with this meme, perhaps one of the best memes to ever come from a thumbnail for a YouTube video. The meme actually comes from this YouTube video, 15 signs you're a Sigma male, super rare. Is it better than Alpha? It's a good question. I will not be going over a lot of the Sigma male memes. However, I was excited to see on Twitter the other day, the same guy five days ago put out a video that says, can a trans man, they put quotes there for some reason, which is a bit sussy wussy to me, be an alpha male may delete. And I was wondering, you know, I have not actually watched any of this person's content. Uh, but if you go through this dude's channel, you expect it to be like PUA, pickup artists, uh, like men's rights, essentially incel type stuff. But I mean, if you look at it, face value, it's not that bad. 10 skinny guy hacks to look better, boost your energy levels, be mentally stronger, attractive hobbies, fashion advice. He's against NoFap, which is base. NoFap is cringe. Uh, but like, I don't know. It, it, it's really hit or miss because there are a lot of people that do this kind of content that prey upon the negative self-worth that a lot of men will feel, usually in regards to the kind of gender dysphoria that they will have. It's very interesting. So on this channel, I talk a lot about trans issues. And when you think of gender dysphoria, usually you think, oh, that's the thing that trans people deal with. A trans man might feel dysphoric and that they might have breasts and men in society don't usually have breasts. So like they see societal pushback from that and then they feel bad even outside of the societal the pushback, they might just feel bad internally in their mind. But it's not always the case that it's only trans people. In fact, a lot of incels will talk about, oh, for the, for instance, go from baby face to Greek god. A lot of incels will be like chin cells. Well, they think their chin is not masculine enough. Their jaw isn't wide and angular enough. Maybe their brow bone doesn't go out far enough. They're not tall. They might have a smaller frame. They might not be super muscular. They might not be super hairy. This is all gender dysphoria. That's what that is. You are upset because you do not meet the gendered expectations for men that society has put forth. This is the same thing that trans people go through. You're closer to trans people than you think, is what I mean to say. So if you're transphobic as well, you're kind of hurting yourself. Anyway, can a trans man be an alpha male? May delete. Uh, and I assume we say may delete because you assume that this community might not be super receptive to the idea of trans people to begin with, much less their fictionalized creation of what an alpha male is as it applies to trans people. So let's see what Alpha M has to say about the topic. Should be interesting. What's up, gentlemen? So I might delete this video tomorrow because it goes against the rules that I've set. For first things first, soy voice, soy voice. It's true. If you posted like on an incel board and you were like, yo, how am I on the incel scale or whatever? They would tell this person they have a soy voice. I have a deeper voice and I was socialized as a man for the majority of my life until I understood my gender identity to be what it is now. But those people, because they don't have the necessary education to reconcile the fact that they experience gender dysphoria, will tell this person they have a soy voice and that's a bad thing for trying to meet the expectations for what a man is supposed to be. Anyway. For myself in terms of this YouTube channel, which is don't talk about things that are controversial, whether or not it's religion, politics, or you know, social issues that I personally don't have a lot of experience with, I shouldn't talk about. But the other- So you're a coward. I'm just kidding. Like, if you don't have a lot of experience with those things, you shouldn't talk about them without the experience, but you should actively be looking to educate yourself on those issues. That's what an alpha male does, in my opinion. The pursuit of knowledge, in my opinion, would be an alpha trait, right? In the way that is usually described by people who unironically believe in the term, but we'll see. The other day I got an email and it really made me think 
and I'd like to read it to you now. The subject is, can transgender men still be alphas by our friend Cannon. He says, hello, Mr. So my answer to this is yes, but we'll get into that. I'm hoping you'll see this email and maybe get back to me or even make a video about it. I'm a transgendered man, meaning I was born a girl, but now identify as a man. I was wondering your stance on this. Can I still be an alpha male? Can I still unlock my alpha side? Unlock. Thanks for reading, Cannon. This makes me a little uncomfortable talking about it, Unlock honestly, my alpha because, side. Um, because people freak out, you know, people freak out when they don't agree with something that you have to say. Especially and transphobic people, my God. Talk about easily triggered. So I understand that. The fact that this guy seems to understand that there are some transphobic elements of his community, he's walking a thin line because he understands that parts of his audience will not be very receptive to this. And because of how easily triggered transphobes are, like, you, you got to be careful. I understand this. And, um, and that's one of the reasons why I decided from an early you know, time on YouTube not to talk about things that were controversial. I needed to be as, as neutral as possible because, you know, this is a business to some degree and I don't want to alienate 50% of my audience because you know- Well, that's certainly a justification for that. I thought it was going to be like, well, I don't want to talk about super controversial topics even if I do have understandings of them or whatever else, but to be like, oh, well, I don't want to alienate my audience because I got to keep siphoning money out of them. It's not not really the one. It's certainly a consideration, obviously. Like, people need money to live in society currently. Uh, but I don't know, man. That whatever side... It, it, it is, it's some honesty, I suppose, yeah. ...dance you take, 50% of the people are going to agree with you, but 50% of the people are going to disagree with you. And that was not something that I was interested in doing. I mean, when you look at my audience or my demo, like 98% are men. There are a few women, and then I'm sure there are a few, you know, transgendered, you know, dudes out there as well. You know? The fact that he keeps saying transgendered, uh, it could just be a product of ignorance. If it's an honest mistake, it, it is boomer. It is boomer. Transgender without the ED, without the erectile dysfunction, okay? That's the word you're looking for. You now, in the whole transgender thing, I don't understand it. I also don't understand why people get so mad or upset about things that don't directly impact them or affect them? True! Very true. A person making free choices about their own body that does not hurt anybody should not be of any concern to anybody but that person. There is no reason why you should get upset for the fact that there are trans people that want to identify contrary to what you think they should be. It's very odd that that's even a thing that goes through your head. Like, oh, here's this person. They were born a female, but now they're wanting to dress more masculine and be perceived in society as a man. How is that a problem for you? Very odd stuff. I don't understand why people hate people just for being different. For me, it doesn't matter if you're gay. It doesn't matter if you're straight. It doesn't matter if you're black, you're white, you're Hispanic. It's something else I know is that life is hard. It's hard for all of us. And if you can be comfortable in your own skin, this is one of the most, this is one of the most amazing things that you could possibly hope to achieve and accomplish. Today, True. I want to talk a little bit. I can think of nothing more alpha than being comfortable in your own body, especially if you're going against what the broader societal expectation for you to be is. There is nothing more alpha than being a trans woman and having to deal with untold amounts of bigotry, of hatred, of societal pushback at every level and still be confident about yourself, still be brave, still take the fucking world by the horns and do the damn thing you need to do to help yourself and the people that you're responsible for. There is nothing more alpha than that. About what I personally feel an alpha is and let you decide for the person that wrote that email, for you out there watching this video. You know, I am a five foot six, small little Italian dude. Let's go. So he is a person of color. We got that cleared. Most Short people kings. typically would not consider me to be an alpha male, but I consider myself to be super fucking alpha. And there are reasons, there are specific things that I feel an alpha possesses. And I actually wrote a list right. to go over with you guys today for you just to understand, in my opinion, what it means to be an alpha, whether or not it's male, female, chicken, koala bear, it doesn't matter. If you do these things, you're an alpha. Number one, to be fair, koala bears are probably the most alpha of the grand variety of animals that exist. I've heard some crazy things that those motherfuckers get up to. But anyway, 
This is incredibly important because this guy, his entire channel is built around this idea of what is an alpha male. Here are the things that you can do to be an alpha male or just alpha in general. Follow like the advice that I give and you might be able to do it, blah, 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 blah. So to understand how he defines this is very important. And I'm going to be taking notes. Number one, alphas are valuable individuals, right? They bring a tremendous amount of value to not only the people around them, but the world. Alphas are striving to not only make themselves better, but the world a better place. Now, I'm not saying you gotta open up a charity to rescue kittens, but what you do, what you say, your words, your actions, you are trying to lift people up as opposed to pressing them down. Number two, alphas- Ah, this is really good. I like this definition. This is not- bad so far that's okay number two are strong mentally emotionally and physically not meaning you got to be able to bench 250 pounds but alphas take care of themselves they take care of their body they take care of their mind they take care of their hearts number three alphas this deal is also fine especially with the caveat that you don't have to be buff okay now i am like i've, I've got muscle okay i've got some tone i haven't been doing enough calisthenics but I've still got it, okay? I'm not going for gains. I'm not trying to be a big man, you know? I just like a little bit of definition, and that's what I got. Very much appreciate it. Three alphas deal with their shit. They don't run from it. They don't push it down. They don't act like they don't have problems. If they've got something they've got to deal with, they deal with it in order for them to be strong mentally, emotionally, and physically. Gentlemen, this is something that I struggled with for the majority of my life because I was- So this makes a lot of sense to me. Alphas deal with their shit. They don't run from it. What about this is even exclusive to men? That's not what it is. You seem to have a misunderstanding. Earlier in the video, he said that being an alpha is not exclusive to men. He said women or females or chicken or koala. So he's saying that alpha is applicable to everybody, not just men. The only thing is that his channel is kind of um, marketed to men. But anyway, so alphas deal with their shit. They don't run from it, okay? You got a problem, you fix the shit. Here's the thing. Trans people seem to have some kind of a problem with how they are perceived in society. If a trans man goes out into the world and they are by society perceived to be a woman, they're going to be treated different. And that different kind of treatment that that trans man gets is probably not gonna be something that they like. They probably don't feel good about it. They don't feel that it fits how they feel as a person. And as a result, this person, and even that's not even just societal, even for themselves, they might not like that they have a smaller frame. So they might compensate for that to look bigger by getting into weight training into fitness and in that way they've noticed they've diagnosed that there is an issue a problem with how they perceive themselves compared to how they're expected to be and they deal with it they don't run from it they don't go on to incel boards and talk about oh my god i'm not matching up to what i'm supposed to be and this is because it's all society's fault and oh no no incels are bitch baby pussy fucking coward losers all right if you describe yourself as an incel listen you just have not done the work. I'm sorry. You need to follow some good advice about how you can fix your situation. You're not an alpha. You're running from your problem. Trans people, they face their problem head on. And not only do they face it internally, going through their own emotions, the mental and emotional aspect of what being an alpha is, they also go through it societally because transitioning is not easy. You are going to face societal pushback from people that don't accept who you are. There's nothing more often than that. Alphas charge head on into problems. They deal with their shit and don't complain about it. Being trans in a nutshell. Gentlemen, this is something that I struggled with for the majority of my life because I was holding on to a lot of baggage from some of the shitty things that happened to me in my past. I had some abusive stepfathers that I've talked about before. I had some unhealthy relationships. It took me taking action, going to therapy and dealing with my shit in order for me to finally be out. The next train- True! And this, unfortunately, therapy, especially in the States, but uh, the world over, is not super accessible for a lot of people. It's, you know, there's, it's a paywall. The culture around mental health and society in general is usually not very good. It's not easy for everybody to go to therapy or even get, like, medication from a psychiatrist. But the idea that this dude is openly talking about the fact that it has helped him if it is accessible to you, it's a good thing to do. I am a big proponent of taking your mental health seriously. In fact, you could not possibly be alpha if you didn't take your mental health seriously. If you allow a variety of these things to plague you and you don't try to fix those problems and you actively run from them through whatever coping mechanism it is, if it's you know, being mean to other people on the basis of shit that does has nothing to do with you, or being abusive to the other people around you, or however other way you decide to cope with it, you're being a coward. You're not alpha.
trait of a modern day alpha, somebody who is kind, who treats people with dignity, with courtesy, and with respect. But it doesn't mean just respect people or be kind to people that you agree with. It means everybody. You don't have to love everybody. You don't have to agree with the way that they live their life or choose to identify. But what does it matter? What does it truly matter to you and you figuring out what makes you happy? Because I got news for you. Happiness is something that is incredibly elusive. Most people People never figure it out and they spend so much spin. time and energy thinking that it's money thinking that it's girls thinking that it's cars or material possessions when the truth is it's about helping other people people need to spend less time looking and criticizing and pointing fingers at other people and look in the fucking mirror integrity you want to be alpha you better have integrity meaning the characteristic of being honest and having moral principles now morality I'm not talking about what's moral what's not not moral in a religious capacity. I'm talking about doing what's right as a human. Why is he yelling at me? He's Italian. You're being italophobic. Stop it. We're just talking about how people need to be accepting of people that are not like them. And you're being italophobic in my chat room. He's Italian. What do you want him to do? Anyway, he's been saying a lot of good shit here, okay? I seem to agree with a lot of point number four as well. Religious capacity. I'm talking about doing what's right as a human. And Alpha also doesn't make excuses. He doesn't sit around pointing fingers and bitching about things that he cannot control. And Alpha is focused on the things that he can affect, his own life. He is going to try to be the best person that he can, but sometimes he's gonna fuck it up. Sometimes he's not going to live up to his own standards. But you know what? He identifies it, he ignores acknowledges it and he moves forward and now this is true so if it is the case that you respond to this question as a viewer of alpha m or whoever else can a trans man be an alpha and you respond negatively to this because you have some weird preconceptions about trans people that for however they manifest however you got to those positions you need to acknowledge that if you're gonna take this man's advice if you think this dude is doing good shit you're not living up to the standards of what an alpha is if you respond to this question in a negative way especially in regards to like if you're trying to invalidate the idea that trans men can even exist much less can they be alpha very very important point at the end here an alpha is motivated Right? An alpha is somebody who goes after what he wants. He doesn't sit around. He's not lazy. He's not waiting for success to happen or to find him. He's going out and getting it. He's making it happen. He's choosing to take the path that he needs to take in order to get there. Now, once again... Absolutely, by the way. No trans person was able to rectify their situation, their, the incongruity of their gender identity, how they perceive it, how they are perceived in society, by just sitting around and doing nothing. That's beta shit. No trans person was in Constantly trans just by sitting around okay there are steps you need to take it is a treacherous path at that if you think a lot of the struggles that you as a cis man have to deal with if you're watching this are difficult imagine trying to be something that society doesn't think you should be and still going for it still walking that tightrope in the face of adversity when everybody else is trying to drag you down that's alpha this path it's not straight it's windy as hell and an alpha knows yo sometimes i'm gonna hit a speed bump sometimes i'm gonna hit an asshole who's gonna think that i'm a bad person for being different the truth you need to run their ass over gentlemen because you should not the cwc broadcast does not contone vehicular manslaughter <laughs> We do not condone the words that have been said. It was likely hyperbole in the context of an analogy. Ever allow somebody to make you feel bad about who you are, which brings me to the last trait of an alpha, and that is you are confident. Confidence, it boils down to being confident. If there was one trait that distinguishes an alpha from everybody else, it is confidence. It's believing in yourself. It's being comfortable in your own skin. Life is hard. And this is one of the most challenging things that you were ever going to have to do. But I'm telling you, if you can finally unlock your inner feeling of peace, contentment, and live your life accordingly with character, with integrity, and with honesty, you are alpha. It doesn't matter whether or not you got a- True. And what's interesting about that, if the final and most important trait of what being an alpha is, is confidence, especially when it comes to being comfortable in your own skin, then trans people are the most alpha people out there because they've understood that they're not comfortable in their own skin. They're very cognizant of that idea. And they have decided that they don't want to be uncomfortable in their own skin. They've decided that 
Fuck this shit. I'm not gonna deal with this garbage that life has dealt me. I'm gonna be confident. And if it takes going through all this shit to be trans or whatever, I'm gonna do that so I can be comfortable in my own skin. Based. I agree. Integrity and with honesty, you are alpha. It doesn't matter whether or not you got a big sack of nuts or if you're a dude who identifies as a dude or whatever, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care how you identify. I care about the quality of person that you are. Be a decent human being and this is alpha. Let's go. This video was not that bad. It's a pretty decent video. I'd say the points that were made were not bad. So if we go over, Really quickly, because I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot. This is Alpha M's definition of what an alpha is, okay? Number one, alphas are valuable individuals to the people around them and the world. They try to make themselves and the world better and lift people up, not put them down. Makes a lot of sense to me. I think that's a good trait to have, especially this last part, lift people up, not put them down. I only put people down in response to them trying to put others down. If you see me popping off in a YouTube video, insulting a person while debunking their arguments that I disagree with, usually it's because the things that those people would believe in end up manifesting in real world harm, and that's not good. They're being betas at that point, really. Number two, alphas are strong, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally as well and they do things to take care of those aspects of themselves. Very true as well. How mentally strong do you think you have to be in order to face all of the societal repercussions in a society that doesn't completely understand the things you're going through, that a lot of other people are going through? Number three, deal with their shit. Alphas don't run from it. If you have a problem, you fix it. You're feeling dysphoric about your gender identity, you fix it. Very simple. Number four, alphas are kind. Treat people with dignity, courtesy, and respect, even those you disagree with. Now. You might think, well, Conyer, don't you kind of go against this rule? Because the people you disagree with, you shit on all the time. You go on long-winded insults about a variety of people you disagree with. And to this I say, shut up! It's fun for me, but also, I already explained that before, the people usually that I'm insulting in this way are actively harming other people through the things that they are saying and influencing other things to think, and in that way, they've cast the first stone. If Ben Shapiro or Matt Walsh or whoever else weren't on the timeline spewing all this hatred to begin with, there would be nothing for me to shit on. It's a them problem. Number five, and this was also one of the most important ones that Alpha M described, alphas are confident. They are comfortable in their own skin. And I've already elucidated as to why trans people meet this definition as well. So to answer the question, Alpha M seems to believe that yes, trans men, and even he went so far as to say trans women, non-binary people, cis men, cis women, whatever else, all of these people can be alpha because alpha is not essential to men. It is not essential to any biological sex. It is not essential to any gender identity. Everybody can do it. And in that way, includes trans men. And as I've described, going through the definition Alpha M has provided, trans people absolutely can be Alpha. Trans men absolutely can be Alpha. And if you disagree with this, I feel like you haven't gotten, like, especially if you're a fan of this guy, I feel like you haven't gotten much from this dude's content, if that's the case. Now, the reason why I think outside of any kind of like bigotry, or transphobic elements for this concept. I feel like the reason why the idea of what an alpha is seems to, for a lot of people, be essentialized to biological men. It's because not only is there just a long precedent of men in society filling leadership roles, and those people are seen as alpha, mostly because of societal uh, expectations, but also some things in regards to the way that men are and that they are predisposed to being stronger. Obviously, there are going to be certain things that make men more predisposed to being considered alpha. But I like that Alpha M in the video talks about the modern day alpha because the world has changed. Whether you like it or not, society has evolved. The way that we interact with the world is different. We no longer have to hunt for food. You still can, but you don't have to. You don't have to do a variety of these things that you used to because of a variety of advancements in society. And as a result, the idea of what an alpha is has evolved with society. It's not to say that back in the day, women couldn't have been alphas because they certainly were. Like, what is a what is a matriarch? What is a maternal? figure. Women have to be alphas. Ba even back in the day, women have to be alphas. To take care of a family in the home, to raise your children when the men are going out hunting for boar or whatever, you have to be alpha as a woman, as a mother in that scenario. 
Otherwise, the child might not get the best upbringing. And it's the same for the father in that situation too. You have to be alpha to be a mother. It's not a, it's not a question. So even like the modern conception of what an alpha is, it has evolved. But for a while, a lot of it was about the so-called alpha wolf, the alpha of the wolf pack idea. And there was a famous study that came out that seemed to suggest that that was true even in wolves but it's been debunked sorry to burst the bubble there's no such thing as an alpha male this is from business insider though a variety of other outlets have talked about this as well so this is from the writer a reminder that the scientists who coined the term alpha male to describe wolves abandoned it as useless years ago so the outmoded notion of the alpha wolf this is from literally the person who did that study the concept of the alpha wolf is well ingrained in the popular wolf literature at least partly because of my book the wolf ecology and behavior of an endangered species written in 1968, published in 1970, republished in paperback, blah, 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 and currently still in print, despite my numerous pleas to the publisher to stop publishing it. Although most of the book's info is still accurate, much is outdated. We have learned more about wolves in the last 40 years than in all of previous history. One of the outdated pieces of information is the concept of the alpha wolf. Alpha implies competing with others and becoming top dog by winning a contest or battle. However, most wolves who lead packs achieve their position simply by mating and producing pups, which then became their pack. So by default, they have to be the alpha in that scenario because as Alpha M describes, a lot of the positive qualities for what an alpha is, it's beneficial to leading a pack of your young, even in nature. In other words, they are merely breeders or parents and that's all we call them today. The quote unquote breeding male, breeding female or male parent, female parent, the adult male, adult female. In the rare packs that include more than one breeding animal, the dominant breeder, quote unquote, can be called that and any breeding daughter can be called a subordinate breeder, the sub, as it were. So Alpha M seems to understand that this is an outmoded idea of what an alpha is. This is not how it manifests in society currently. And I think this definition he provided is not that bad. I think it's a pretty good way to describe the evolution of the term. So all of this is to say humans who enjoy the idea of alpha males might want to keep in mind that there isn't really any such thing. And to the extent the term has any meaning at all, it describes the behavior of captive, lonely creatures. True. And you might feel like a captive, lonely creature in society, especially as somebody who's really attached to the idea of being an alpha male. You seem to understand that you don't really match up with society's expectation for what a man is supposed to be. You've got some form of what could be considered gender dysphoria in that way. And you could feel captured, you could feel captive by society because of those expectations. The really cool thing about that though, is that you don't need those qualifications anymore. The idea of men have to be this way and women have to be this way, and if you're born male or born female, you have to be this or that way, is outmoded. It's old hat. It's boring, it's uninspired, and it's counterfactual to how reality is now. And it's interesting. So in the same way, that man and woman is, as a gender identity, is a societal construct, so is the idea of being an alpha male. So is the idea of being alpha. If you think that the idea that gender is a social construct and different from biological sex, if you find that concept confusing, you're literally doing the same thing when it comes to alpha. You are inventing a expectation for somebody who identifies as a man to act a certain way to be the best kind of that person, you know? It's it's just another gender identity. Maybe not exactly in the way that it manifests, but it's got the same amount of weight behind it. It's literally what that is. I, and I say all this all to say that there's nothing wrong with wanting to meet Alpha M's definition of what an alpha is. I think it's a fine definition for the idea. Getting super attached to that kind of idea is a bit odd, especially in the way that it manifests for a lot of people. Uh, and you gotta check yourself and be careful about that. But being alpha in the way that it's described in this video is not necessarily a bad thing. It's very helpful in society. But this is also not to say that everybody has to be that way. To not match up with a lot of these things is also not necessarily a bad thing. There are just people out there that have less confidence. There are people out there that are not as physically, mentally, or emotionally strong. That doesn't make them any less worthwhile as humans. That just makes them a different kind of person. They have different characteristics, different traits that differ from other people. The idea of what an alpha is seems to be just a label you used to encapsulate a certain set of characteristics of how a person acts and is perceived in society. That's 
what gender is as well. There's no problem with not being confident. There's no problem with being vulnerable emotionally, mentally, physically. There, none of these things are a problem. It's a problem if you want to be the opposite of that, but then you have to do the work. You have to take the steps to fix the problems that you've identified in order to have a more fulfilling life as a person. Like I've said ad nauseum at this point, trans people have already figured this out. Trans people already get it. They understand that in order to be confident with themselves as people and how they interact with society, there are a variety of changes they have to make in order to make that happen. And they face it head on. They do it. They do the work. Why can't you? Oh, you're right, Bazoo. How could I forget the comments? I did not look at these comments. And you know, that's an important uh, amount of investigation. It says, although I can't speak to the experience of a trans man as a trans woman, I believe he did an amazing job addressing such a controversial topic. I know it's hard to understand the mindset of a group you don't identify with and that it's hard to imagine looking in the mirror and wanting to redact, redact it because of the way you were born. But transgender people deal with that every day. It should be said that not every trans person looks at themselves and through a variety of things wants to Roblox themselves. It is actually highly misrepresented, the propensity for this to be the case. But I can understand the concept, and I assume this person has dealt with that issue, which is why they bring it up for their own experience. You went about this issue in a very responsible and respectful way. Thank you for respecting the trans men who choose to watch your channel. Nice. Don't delete this. It might be a topic. Literally, all these fucking people bending over backwards to be nice come on where's the vitriol this one's more direct and pointed okay this this will be fun this person says your values as a person are way more important than your gender or your biological makeup we are all human we are all brothers and sisters and nbs great video this person says yeah but the issue is if you disagree with transgenderism but you think people should be allowed to live the life they want there are many activists and politicians who will try and ruin your life what do you mean disagree this person is trying to exist in a world that doesn't exist. This person is like very obviously cannot contend with reality as it is and has to try to rewrite what reality is to feel comfortable in the world, which is not alpha, by the way. That's the opposite of what that is. They think that their words don't do anything if they put them on the internet. They think that the propagation of transphobic rhetoric doesn't hurt people, but it absolutely does. Not only does transphobic rhetoric on the internet hurt people, just like if somebody reads it and they feel some type of way and they feel sad, whatever. But aside from that, it also manifests in real life. If a person is reading your hateful comments or another person who has more sway, because I imagine this person is just a random YouTube commenter, and they are pushing transphobic rhetoric, that person may go on in their personal life to be emotionally abusive to other trans people. Say there's a father who has a kid. That kid comes to them in a very vulnerable moment and is like, yo, I know I'm supposed to like like Barbies and pink and all this kind of shit, but I, I think I might like trying to be more masculine more. I might want to like play with G.I. Joes or have a short haircut or act a certain way. I think I might be trans. A lot of the time, the transphobic rhetoric that this person is mad will get you banned about or whatever or will ruin your life if you say it online manifests in that father being like, no, kid, you're fucking stupid. Girls are supposed to be wearing pink, playing with Barbie dolls. And in that way, that is real life harm that manifests from people like Matt Walsh. That's Matt Walsh's prescription for if your child comes to you and talks to you about their emotion, about how they feel, about their mental state, about all of these very, very sensitive things that they're going through. They're coming to you as an adult, as a parental figure who ostensibly is supposed to know more about the topic and are confiding in you and trying to find more information to help them understand the things that they're feeling. Matt Walsh's prescription for when that happens is exactly what I just said. Tell them that no, you're fucking stupid. You don't know shit. You're a kid. I'm an adult. I know better than you. Go play with your Barbie dolls. That's abusive. If that kid is having all these issues in their mind and they don't know how to rectify it and they come to you thinking that you know anything about literally anything, which Matt Walsh doesn't, that kid is going to probably have some kind of trauma about it. It's like, what's that going to do to a fucking kid, man? It's abusive. It's harmful. It gives people trauma and it's not good. That is not what an alpha is. An alpha doesn't say it's my way or the highway if their kid exists in a way that they don't seem to see is valid. Well, they're not hurting nobody. An alpha helps that kid understand the feelings they're feeling. That alpha comforts the child, helps them learn more about the situation, tries to provide potential solutions to the issue in a positive direction, and works to make that human being's life better. 
That is what an alpha is. Alphas are supportive of other people, even if they might not necessarily agree with them. That father might not totally understand what it means to be trans. They've never felt any feelings like that, that they've been able to identify and whatever else. So they might even go so far as to say like, oh, well, I don't really know a lot about this. Let me go online. Let me consult various groups that are out there that do activism or education when it comes to trans issues as it pertains to the youth or literally any other trans people. Educate myself further on that. Gain more knowledge knowledge about the topic to better understand it so that I can use my position as a leader to help you because you can't do it yourself. You're a fucking kid. That's what an alpha does. Anyway, I'm on a tangent. Oh boy. This person responds, they have every right to feel and live in America. Well, trans people don't just live in America, but I guess you probably do. So that's your frame of reference. I understand this. Just like all of us, but don't push it on us and don't bring it to the schools and teach your kids about it. That's our job to parent. The Democrats want to keep on pushing this on them and we get pushed back. What the fuck are you talking about, man? You literally don't understand the topics you're trying to explain to your kids. Far be it for me that your negligence as a parent has to be made up for by schools or advocates or people online. Maybe be a better fucking parent and learn about the shit that your kids are going through. This is what I'm talking about. This is not alpha behavior. This person is making excuses for his own inadequacy and the fact that he does not seem to find it necessary to become more knowledgeable in the topic that he's talking about. And in that way, he is actually harmful to any potential kids he might have or other kids he might have some kind of authority over if he's like in the schools or what, I don't know. It's not good. <laughs> what is this? Contra Boys is an excellent channel in general if you want to learn more about transgenders. It's interesting that this person is aware of who Contra Points is and understands her content to be good for learning about trans issues, and they still use the term transgenders. Hey, their heart's in the right place. They're on the pipeline, okay, to understanding more. <laughs> Very boomer. Yeah, except you put man in quotes. That's interesting. That is interesting. So you did put trans man. So there are a variety of ways you could look at this, okay? The immediate assumption is that, oh, if we put man in quotes in the title here, we think that Alpha M doesn't think that trans men are men. So like by putting it in quotes, it's like, well, they're not actually men, right? You know, they're men. You get it? It could also be clickbait, that is true, but I think a more woke interpretation, which is probably not the case, but this is uh, the, the hopeful future that I have, is that man is in quotations here because the idea of what a man is is societally constructed. A biological male is not, but what a man is as a gender identity is societally constructed. So the quotations could be like, oh, whatever a man is, like it's a societal construct, this doesn't exist, right? Like that's a my hopeful, optimistic take on a future potential uh, for that kind of, you know, activism. <laughs> I doubt it's actually the case. Luckily, all the main comments are really good. It's just that a lot of the replies are uh, pretty bad. This is cute. As a trans guy who's been watching your channel for probably over six years before I ever figured it out, this is so validating coming from you. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, look, a metrosexual. This person is 70 years old. Men explaining what an alpha male is. How cute. So this is exactly the uh, thing I expect to be in my comments as well. If any of these fucking losers, these brain-dead, two-head, degenerate fucking castaways from society who can't rectify their own situation, so instead take it out on other people, if they happen across this video, they are probably going to leave comments like this, well, oh, the entire concept of what an alpha person is is completely incorrect because, you know, Alpha M, what he's describing is not real alphas. And look at him, like, he doesn't even know what he's... <laughs> Shut up! Another one from this person. Holy fuck, this person is having a bunch of comments. This is a very mentally stable person. By the way, these are the people that champion mental stability and shit on trans people for their so-called mental instability, quote unquote. Reading through the comments, seems like a lot of women on here need validation, even if it's from a stranger who they've never met on YouTube in order to feel like a man. Here's a tip from a natural born male. Jesus, fuck. Imagine caring this much about the fucking chromosomes you have. God damn. If you need that type of validation, you are neither alpha nor a man, and hopefully you've made the permanent decision to take yourselves out of the gene pool. Nice. Advocating for people to kill them themselves is not alpha, you fucking degenerate loser. In, in what way is that alpha? You spelled it mentally deranged woman wrong. This person was shoved in lockers. I guarantee this person is like 70. They were absolutely bullied in school by stronger men. Guaranteed. There is no way this isn't the case. This man has very many deep-seated issues that he cannot possibly contend with because he is not alpha, and as a result is pushing other people down and running away from his problems instead of facing them head on like a fucking man. And this is the result. <laughs> May delete. 
actually an over 40% chance. So because I haven't directly addressed it, this 40% meme is essentially a way that fucking loser cowards like this who can't say it with their chest tell trans people to kill themselves. The 40% thing is in reference to the attempts that trans people will have self-reported, as far as I'm aware, making when it comes to suicide. But those are attempts, not successes. Not 40% of all trans people are killing themselves. That's 40% of people that have responded to this specific study that have said that they have considered or attempted. However, if you care about suicidality so much, you should look into actual rates of successful suicide, because if you did that, you'd find out that white men and men in general are around 70% more likely to be successful in taking their own life. So if you would like to keep more men around, this is not the line to be walking. In fact, if you look at the reason why those 70% of men not only attempt but are successful in suicide, it's usually because of a lot of the societal preconceptions for what men are supposed to be like and the fact that they don't find that they match up with that expectation. That expectation which is entirely constructed by humans. It is not real. It doesn't have to be that way. If you were more empathetic, if you were an actual alpha, this would not be the kind of rhetoric you're engaging with because the people you are ostensibly trying to help are harmed by this rhetoric. Seek help. Jesus fucking Christ. And by the way, the whole 40% thing actually does go down as well if the trans people are affirmed in society as well. I don't know the majority of this content. This video is the only one I've watched. Uh, there could be a lot of bad shit in here. I don't know. But for this video itself, and if this video signals a change of tide, if there was a lot of bad shit in the past, I'm here for it. Anyway, it is what it is. These insecure, manlit, fucking bitch-made, loser-ass, soy-guzzling, low-T losers can't be helped. We can try, and I will try, okay? If a little bit of, if being rough around the edges while be for a lot of these people who talk shit on me aesthetically pleasing to look at is what it's required to kick these fucking idiots in the ass and stop them from being the beta lord cuck boys that they are, then I'm glad to at least give the attempt, okay? That's what I'm, that's part of what I do. In a future video, I might go over more of Alpha M's content and, and see what's up, okay? But... I feel like I've I've done what I needed to do with the uh, the trans man alpha man topic and uh, it was fun. Hope you enjoyed. I do think that the way that I have been able to talk about incel issues and in the way, especially in today's segment, where I try to tie the idea of what an alpha male is to be like built upon a foundation that's very shaky and then try to connect that to like gender as a social construct and all this kind of shit. I think the way that I maneuver this kind of stuff in my brain, I think I think it's very good. I don't know if anybody agrees or disagrees, but especially with the way that I present it, because I, while I present myself femininely, my personality, you know, my the amount of charisma that I have is, is in the masculine direction, uh, which I think is very conducive to that kind of thing. But so like the feminine characteristics of my appearance can be beneficial in a lot of ways, but also can be uh, not as good when it comes to trying to engage with these fucking low T soy lords that have these kind of like weird views. But I think my personality does carry it a bit more. Maybe I'm biased because I like your content, but I agree. And and I'm not an insult. Maybe. I don't fucking know. Yeah, 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 I don't know. I think I do well. It's not good for deprogramming people, but useful for a greater understanding for people that engage in good faith. Maybe. Though I don't know how better I could do in terms of trying to deprogram. Uh, if you have any suggestions to offer, I, uh, feel free. Because I would like to be able to do that as well, right? Like, if somebody disagrees with the take that I have when they go into it, I would like to be able to, like, play a part in that deprogramming in some way. Even if I don't do it directly, if I like play a part in the pipeline or whatever, I'm, I'm down for that. You'd have to change your disposition? In what way? I feel like the alphas of the world would be really receptive to the way that I carry myself. I'm very masculine in my personality. The way that I talk, the way that I word things, so even the way that I like physically I act on camera, I think it's fairly masculine and usually they look up to that shit because they're all fucking subs in denial. They really look up to strong... Uh, masculine presentation. And while I don't have that in full in the in the aesthetic capacity, I have that when it comes to the way I talk and act, which I like, by the way. I very much like the, uh, the fact that I have a masculine personality and I have, like, the way that I move around the world is also masculine, like the way I walk and whatever the fuck else. Uh, and I really also like the fact that I present very femininely when my, with my aesthetic. I like both of those things. Because I'm an alpha, I'm confident in my own skin. So like, even, like, insulting people that I disagree with, I feel like it's very conducive to some of these people. Because unfortunately for a lot of them, the only way that they can get this kind of shit out of their head is by getting smacked upside the head 
by a stronger man, in this case me, because I'm stronger than most of these fucking losers, both physically and mentally.